everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to make a Roblox GFX. And yes, I did make a video about this a few months back, but I recently deleted it just because it wasn't the best quality and people still had a lot of questions. So this video is going to be more in detail and hopefully you guys have a better understanding after watching this video. If you don't know what a GFX is, it's basically a graphic. So we're making Roblox graphic art and I will have some examples of GFX that I made on the screen. You guys really seem to like them, but in this video, I'm not spilling all of the tea on how I make my GFX. But if you do want to see more detailed videos, then make sure to smash that like button so I know that you enjoyed this video and want to see more. But I hope this video is helpful and without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is open up Roblox Studio on a laptop or computer. Unfortunately, you cannot complete this process on mobile, but if you have Roblox downloaded on your laptop or computer, you're going to have Roblox Studio. It's kind of like a package deal. They basically download together. So when you first open up Roblox Studio, this is the screen that you get. As you can see, we have a lot of templates. This is where people go to make games and just create a lot of fun stuff. But like I said, we're not doing anything crazy today. So what you wanna do is go right here and click base plate. Once your base plate loads, it looks like we're on this huge Lego piece. And to move around, you can just scroll with your mouse by right clicking and just changing the angle. And then to actually move, you use WASD, just like you would normally do in Roblox. So it's pretty simple. And now what you wanna do is go up to plugins and you're gonna need this plugin right here that says load character. And if this is your first time in Roblox Studio and you do not have this plugin right here, then I will have a link to this exact page in the description box. And this is where you can install Load Character Lite by Already Pro. Don't worry, it's completely free. All you have to do is click install and it'll automatically download. It'll prompt you to open up Roblox Studio. You may have to close Roblox Studio and open it back up for it to show up but it will be there. And now once we're back in here, what you want to do is click load character. And now you can type in any Roblox username that you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to type in my username, which is it's Aquila. And now we have this thing that says spawn at origin, which basically just spawns your character at the center of the plot. And then we have spawn R6, and spawn R15. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be spawning in R6, but I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the two. Okay, so here are my two Roblox characters. On the left, we have the R6, and on the right, we have the R15. Also, just another thing, if you see this toolbar right here, where we clicked plugins, if you click the model tab, you might have to click collisions because I think it's automatically chosen when you first open up Roblox Studio. If collisions is selected, all you have to do is click it. You don't really need it if you're making a Roblox GFX because basically what it does keeps things from colliding and that's not really good if you're making a GFX. You want everything to be connected. So if you're struggling with this problem, all you have to do is click it so it's no longer selected. It's also beneficial to uncheck rotate and move, which is right next to collision. Okay, but right off the bat, the difference between the R6 on the left and the R15 on the right is that the R6 is thicker and it's pretty noticeable. It's just a little bit bigger than the other one. Also, one of the main things is for the R15, you have more body parts. So as you see, we have left foot, left hand, left lower arm, left lower leg. Everything is broken up. But for the R6, everything is more connected. We just have left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. It's much more simple. But like I said, this video is going to be very simple. But we are just going to use the R6. So let's go ahead and delete the R15. 
And now here we are. Also, if you're moving in Roblox Studio, you can click shift to move slower. If you don't click shift, you just move a lot faster. Okay, we're not going to add any props for this GFX, but we are going to add a face. So go back to the toolbar at the top, click home, and you're gonna need this toolbox tool that I have right here. Your screen might look like this, but just click toolbox and here we are. We have a lot of default stuff that's being showcased. But if you want to type face, we can go ahead and do that. Or you can type in faces, you can type in hair, you can type in toy. You can type in anything you want and it'll most likely pop up. We have a lot of faces here. This is one of the most popular faces. I've used this one a few times. If we type in faces, we have some different options, but I'm gonna use this one right here. And we have this huge block right there. And you're wondering, well, how do we get that face onto our Roblox character? So make sure that this is clicked. And then you wanna click this arrow right there. And it says decal and it looks like a little painting icon. You want to right click that, go up and click cut. Now we can delete the face changer and let's go in front of our Roblox character. Remember, you can hold shift and to click WASD to move slower. Now we're going to go back to this arrow, but for our Roblox character, click it. And right here, it says head and click the arrow for that. And this is the face we have on right now. Click backspace or delete. And now click head, right click and click paste into. And now we have a face, a different face. You can also delete any accessories you have, but this face is so cute. So this is the one that we're gonna be using. Now to move a body part, we're going to click left arm and I'm just going to angle it over here so we can see it a little bit better. Now go to the model tab in the toolbar and click rotate. And now we have this like huge rotating tool. So we're going to go like that. Kind of like a waving, a waving pose. That's what we're going to be going for. You can angle it like that. You just have to play around with it. It can be a little complicated at first but you'll get it together. We have rotate, scale is to make something stretch or just bigger, and I don't really use that tool for body parts because I want everything to be proportionate. And then the move tool is this one once again. So just angle it once again, switch your camera around to make sure all the joints are connected. There we go, I think that looks pretty good for this tutorial. So now what the next step is, we're gonna hit this arrow again, and you want to click your Roblox username. Once your username is clicked, it's highlighted in blue, you right click and go all the way down to export selection. And now you're prompted to title your GFX. I'm going to call mine tutorial and I'm saving it to my desktop just so it's more convenient and easier for me to find and once you're done naming it you want to go ahead and click save now we're done with Roblox studio and now we're going to open up blender blender is a free software that you can use to render your gfx I'm completely aware that Blender came out with Blender 2.80, but everybody wants Blender 2.79. I haven't even switched over to Blender 2.80, and a lot of you guys are wondering, like, how do you get the old version of Blender? Also, if you have another version of Blender installed, you have to make sure you completely delete those files before you can try and download this version of Blender. So if you have Blender 2.8, you have to delete it. So what you can do is type in Blender 2.79 download. This page will pop up. So let's click that. And now we have this page. Make sure that this one is underlined. And we have this huge blue button that says download latest Blender. And you don't want to do that. You want to click download Blender 2.79 old. 
Now we have this index page, and as you can see, we have versions from 2017 and 2018. You want to look at the 2018 ones. I will probably link this page in the description box to save you guys those extra steps. So here are the 2018 versions, and if you have a Mac, you can of course do this. I'm on a Windows right now, but I also have this downloaded on my Mac. So for my Windows, I am on Windows 64, and if you're wondering if you're on Windows 64 or Windows 32, you have to click the Start button in the bottom left, and then click Settings. Once you're in the Settings window, click System, scroll down to About, and then right here, it'll say all the specs about your laptop or computer. And it says system type. And mine says 64-bit operating system times 64 base processor. So depending if yours is 64 or 32, just remember that when you're finding your correct download. If you're on Windows 64 like me, the Blender version you're going to want to download is Blender dash 2.79 b dash windows 64 dot msi if you're on windows 32 this is the one you're going to want to download blender dash 2.79 dash windows 32 dot msi and if you're on mac you're going to want to download blender dash 2.79 b dash mac os dash 10.6 dot dmg and when you first open Blender, this is what the screen will look like. And to get rid of this box, all you have to do is click on it. And now we're here. So what you want to do is move your mouse up to this spot that says Blender Render. And you want to click that and change it to Cycles Render. But we don't need this cube, so click X on your keyboard and then click Delete with your mouse. And now we have a clean slate, but let's get into how to move in Blender. So click Shift and F, and now you just move around with WASD, just like you would in Roblox Studio. But to move faster this time, you click Shift. In Roblox Studio, you click Shift to go slower. So let's just angle ourselves right here. And now what you want to do is go up to File, Scroll down to import. Make sure you're at import, not export. And then go all the way down to wavefront.obj. Click it. And then find wherever you just saved your Roblox character to. So we saved ours to our desktop. So we're going to click tutorial.obj. And then go right here on the far right and click import obj. And here's our Roblox character, but it looks funny. There's no color or anything. It's completely white. To fix that, go to the snowball tool that is right here. And you want to click material. And here's our Roblox character in full color, which is exactly what we wanted. And once again, if you want to move around, just look at your character. Click Shift and F and WASD to move. W is to move forward, S is to move backwards, A is to move to the left, and D is to move to the right. Now we're done with this step. So now we're gonna be moving over to this tab right here. There's a lot of settings to play with. The main settings you're going to change are resolution. I normally make mine 3000 by 3000. You can do 10,000 by 10,000. It all depends on how fast your computer runs, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do 2000 by 2000. And then you're going to drag this. So it says 100%, it was at 50, you just drag it. Now we're gonna scroll down here to film and it might look like that, it might be closed, but just make sure you click the arrow if it is and click transparent so we can have a transparent background. And then in your photo or video editor, you can just add any background that you want. So make sure that's clicked. And then the last setting we have to change is by going here to the world icon, clicking it and then scrolling down to ambient occlusion and just make sure that's checked off. But now on the bottom left, go to view and camera. And then it'll take us here to this camera and to move around. Once again, shift and F. And then here we go. We can just center ourselves 
right in front of our Roblox character. You can have your whole body rendered or you can just have a certain part. It all just depends on your liking. Once you're done angling your camera, now you want to go to the top left where it says File, Render, Window, and Help. Click Render and Render Image. And now our Roblox character is rendering You'll know that your render is complete when the bar at the top is no longer there. That means it's at 100%. And now that it's done, what you want to do is go to image, which is at the bottom left, and click save as image. And then once again, you can just title your GFX whatever you want. So I just titled mine my GFX and I'm going to click desktop so that it saves there and then go to the far right and click save as image and you're done. So here it is and that is it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. Once again, all the links you need will be ready for you in the description box. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, please click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And also, if you felt rushed in this video, you can always pause it and go back when you need to. Just do it at your own pace. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!